careers have had some great conversations and my man's got a new cd in stores i heard he's gonna be at the vh1 and wouldn't have time to stop by any place so i decided to go up there and steal my interview so here we are with a longtime friend of the show the legendary snoop dog so congratulations on your new cd blue carpet treatment thank you thank you blue for um <laughs> Okay, we won't Because I've, no, I've been getting the red carpet treatment my oh. whole career, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, in, in the world of uh, entertainment, I guess the red carpet treatment is the highest you can go. Right. So I wanted to see if I could take it up a step higher and try to give you the blue carpet treatment. Blue, I like it. And I dig the first single, You and R. Kelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love it. Is it true that when you presented uh, your, your words for that first single, that Dre told you, not hard enough, go back? Yeah. I had to um, actually do it two or three times until yeah. he brought the DOC in to help me get it all the way right. Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't admit something like that. So I'm still able to take criticism, though, Wendy. I'm not, I'm not so big-headed to where I feel like I'm the greatest of all time. I can't take criticism. I love to be, you know, told when it ain't right because yes. that makes me feel like I'm still you know, doing something right if I'm able to listen. And sometimes people around us, I know I'm celebrating 20 years in radio, and sometimes the people around us are able to, to keep us fresh, keep yeah. us the legends yes. Yes. that we are. But we need that, though, because we, you know, we get caught up on ourselves. That's because right. Why wouldn't we? You know what I'm That's saying? Right. Every day people are screaming and want autographs from us, so we have to believe it at a certain point. How old are your sons? My oldest is 12, my, my youngest is 9, and my baby girl is 7. Is one of them a big fan of Cassidy's? Yeah, and that's, we asked that's him who is, tell, tell that story. Tell that, uh, tell that story. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, we was riding one night, and uh, I was asking my son, I was like, who is your favorite rapper? My oldest son was like, Cassidy. So I asked my youngest son in the back seat, I was like, who is your favorite rapper, Lil Snoop? And he was like, you. So I asked my old son, I said, so why is Cassidy your favorite rapper over me? He was like, because you don't really be like, like flowing, you know, you, you be making cool songs, but you don't really be flowing like a real MC. So I went to the studio like about a couple of nights later and made a song called Think About It. Yeah. And I brought it back to him and I rolled with him in the car and played it for him. Yeah. And he was like, dang, daddy, I didn't know you was that tight. So I had to like, you know what I'm saying, show him that I still had it, which was a good thing because these young MCs really be challenging me. That's like, right. That's right. And I like that because... The game is about being fresh, because I remember when I was young, when I was brand new, and it was others that was in the game before me. And That's right. I reached for them and tried to, you know, do what they did. I dig your um, your involvement with your children mm -hmm. and the kids, because goodness only knows not enough men step up and take care of their, their children. And even when they do that, many are working so hard to pay bills, they don't have time to coach and, and be that person. So um, how, how do the other parents react to you? Well, in the beginning, it's sort of kind of hard because they don't really know me. So they got to react to, you know, the, the image and the, whatever they hear and see in the news. But then once they see the love and the passion that I have for the kids and the devotion and the time and the efforts that I give them, it's not me coming out there just to the games. I'm out there Tuesday, Thursday, Friday coaching. Don't tackle. Come on, Albert, you a cornerback. Show me. What's the temperature in L.A. regarding the cops and rap music? We basically police our own neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? If it's a problem in the hood, the hood take care of the hood. So that relationship with the police is kind of like iffy because the police ain't like they used to be. They used to be hands-on where you knew who they was and you knew them by their name. That's right. Now you don't know them no more. You just know them for pulling you over Jack and you trying to give you more time. Yeah. What's your favorite place in the world outside of your home with your family? Probably Amsterdam. Why? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I get to, I get a chance to be me, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I just be Snoop Dogg, and, yeah. and I like that. Let me just look at your, because I'm looking at your rings, and I noticed that you have a piece of tape on the back of this. This is a very yeah. wealthy man. I just wanted to just show you how real it, it gets. I gotta keep it hood. Now, this earring right here, you lost a, a earring, and you picked that up for five dollars, didn't you? Yeah. I can tell by the setting. Yo, he's not even wearing. He's not. It's not even a zirconia. It's a piece of cut glass. This is what I always tell people. It's high low dressing. Yes. You can't trick up all your money on yeah, the high. Come on, man. Have please. Nothing. I know how to do it. When times are low, I want to thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Winnie, you always special to me too. And I want you. more than a handshake. Yeah. Move it up. Mm, mm. Snoop Dogg, he's a yeah, friend yeah. of the show. Yes, I am. Yeah. West West, y'all. Don't even think about moving. It's windy, man. <laughs> the Wendy Williams Experience. Ha, ha, ha.
All right, look, I'm out. It's no drug test on radio, obviously. Shut up, you.